let's go through a quick tour of this Singer Simple Soy Machine and the stitches and knobs that we have right at our fingertips. So the machine is currently threaded. We just did that video and how we put our bobbin in. So if you wanna click right up here, that will guide you on how to correctly thread the machine, some of the tips that always catch people and make a machine not behave correctly and all it is is operator error. So here's just a couple things. So up at the top knob, this is stitch length. Now you also have and notice that there is a, a light teal colored S1 and a red S2. So depending on which stitch you actually want from the so stitch selection knob, if it is a red stitch, then you do need to turn that so the red S2 is showing. If you want one of the teal stitches, then you need to turn it so the teal S1 is showing. For the stitches that are black, all you need to do is those stitches have allow you to control your own stitch length. For these, they're preset, but the black stitches, you can have short stitch length or long stitch length. So for example, if I'm just doing a normal straight stitch, a normal stitch length is about two and a half. Heavier fabrics go up a little bit higher to three or longer. If you ever feel like you're having to push the fabric through that, just all you have to do is make the stitch like longer and those feed dogs, the teeth underneath, will actually do the work for you, pull it in even easier. Finer fabrics, I do like a shorter stitch length, about two. And then the picture here is a picture of a buttonhole. So reminding us that when we stitch one of our buttonholes or the buttonhole, our stitch length will need to be between zero and one. So those are kind of the quick overview for your basic stitches. This is tension. Here's the trick on tension. Most of the time, the problem with a sewing machine is not the tension. Right now, there's kind of a five, four, three range. Four is kind of normal. That would mean that if you have a good quality thread in your needle and the same weight of thread in your bobbin and everything's threaded correctly, this is balanced. So you don't have to worry about changing your tension. If stitches don't look right, Rethread your machine, check that you have your bobbin spin in the right direction. Did you clean it lately and have you put a new needle in? This is the last thing you change. It's usually not tension, so that's what I'm getting at. In the back here, you do have where you can lift and lower the presser foot. Make sure you always have that presser foot up when you're threading the machine, right in here is actually the tension discs that allows your thread to get all the way down in there. Make sure maybe do a little flossy floss and it really helps seat the thread correctly. Remember, most sewing machine problems, operator error. When you go to sew, lower that presser foot down. And this is your reverse button. So hold it down, it stitches back. That will lock those stitches at the beginning and the end of your stitch. So we're gonna get into more stitches and then as we work with these, now you have a little bit better understanding of which knob does which operation.